Hi, what's up YouTube? Time for another kayak update. So I bought some new pair of wheels here that I'm gonna be replacing these small ones with. And these I bought on Amazon. You can check it out in the link in the description below. These don't require any kind of air and they actually have two sets of bearings. So you're just going to have to load it up on the shaft and then you just tighten down the bolts and it'll turn on its axis with ease. I also bought a new comfortable kayak seat. I'm gonna be replacing this one that is the stock one here. And I also have to change out some of this hardware here. I actually raised the shaft of the troll motor up by a few inches. So it was starting to drop down kind of low. So now I actually have it, as you can see there, that height. All right, I decided to stop halfway and show you what it looks like with the new updated wheel versus the smaller wheel. And you can see there's a huge difference in clearance. So if I take the measuring tape and put it right up next to the axle where the ground would touch it, I'm getting at least about three inches of clearance versus this side where I get at least six inches clearance off the ground. All right, so this is what it looks like afterwards. As you can see here, it looks really nice, has some really good clearance. It was really easy to change it out. I didn't have to do anything as far as cut the axle or anything. It fits just flush. And like I said, what I like about these awesome wheels is each side has its own bearing. So it literally just sits on the axle, you tighten it down and it spins freely by itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the uh, kayak and we'll see how it works. Back it up so you all can see it. And we're going down. All right, so here's a new kayak seat. I just have it over the original one. And so it connects on here with these little eyelets. And I connected the ones that are on the back here to the front to keep the lumbar support up. And then there's two straps that are on the bottom part. I use that to connect to these back eyelets to keep that secured to the bottom of the seat to keep it in place. So you can see here, it won't lift up. So I have this wrapped around the original seat and I have the two straps going underneath, one underneath and one over it. And the same thing on this side here. And then I have the two fronts connected to these eyelets here. And it's really easy to adjust it. All you have to do is pull on this strap and it will tighten it down. But once I sit down on it, you can see here it creates a lot of nice lumbar support. Way more comfortable than this other in peace here. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And as always, thank you all for watching.